Hello, I'm Kirk Williams and welcome to Movie Time. I wanted to take this time to share with you um, the Motion Picture Association of America's rating system. I see quite a few movies and some of the movies I like to take my kids, others I take my kids and after I get them there I'm like, ooh, what did I get myself into? We live in a time when the Motion Picture Association of America has changed what is acceptable in our society. I did a whole expose on what is exceptional language, uh, what is acceptable language, and maybe you should take some time to watch that. But what was G when I was a kid is completely different, well not completely, but a lot different than what was G or what is G now. PG and now there's a bunch of other th things. When I was a kid there was only G, PG, and R, that's it. Now we have the additional PG-13 and the standards for each one of them has changed. So let's take a look at them right now, all right? G, general audience is all ages admitted. A G-rated motion picture contains nothing in theme, language, nudity, sex, violence, or other matters that in the view of the ratings board would offend parents whose younger children view the motion picture. The G rating is not a certificate of approval, nor does it signify a children's motion picture. Some snippets of language may go beyond polite conversation, but they are common everyday expressions. No stronger words are present in a G rated motion picture. Depictions of violence are minimal. No nudity, no sex scenes or drug use are present in the motion picture. Now, but there are words that the kids use in the picture that are definitely not acceptable for my kids. Um, when I was a kid, you couldn't say dang or darn. I've explained to kids all the time what a euphemism is. It simply means the, uh, the insertion of one expression for another. A uh, common phrase that I commonly correct kids on are, is the use of hecka. Hecka is basically a euphemism for hella, which is not acceptable for me by my kids. Maybe you allow your kids to say that, but I don't. But those are words that, some of the words that slip in in the G rating. So moving right on. PG, parental guidance suggested. Some material may not be suitable for children. A PG rated motion picture should be investigated by parents before they let their younger children attend. The PG rating indicates in the view of the rating board that parents may consider some material unsuitable for children and parents should make that decision. The mature themes in some PG rated motion pictures may call for parental guidance. In other words, you need to be careful there may be some profanity and some depictions of violence or, check this out, brief nudity. But these elements are not deemed so intense as to require the parents be strongly cautioned beyond the suggestion of parental guidance. There's no drug use content in the PG rated motion picture. But again, they slip in a bunch of little quasi swear words, which is definitely not acceptable for me. Now, this is where it really gets tricky here, this next one that drives me crazy all the time. PG-13. Parents strongly caution, strongly. Some material may be inappropriate for children under 13. A PG-13 rating is a sterner warning by the rating board to parents to determine whether their children under age 13 should view the motion picture as some material might not be suited for them. A PG-13 motion picture may go beyond the PG rating in theme, violence, nudity, sensuality, language, adult activities, or other elements, but does not reach the restricted R category. The theme of the motion picture by itself will not result and a rating greater than PG-13, although depictions of activities related to a mature theme may result in a restricted rating for the motion picture. I know this is a lot. Anyway, 
Any drug use will initially require at least a PG-13. You use drugs PG-13. More than brief nudity will require at least a PG-13. But such nudity in a PG-13 rated motion picture generally will not be sexually oriented. There may be depictions of violence in a PG-13 movie, but generally not both realistic and extreme or persistent violence. A motion picture's single use of one of the harsher sexually derived words, though only as an expletive, initially requires at least a PG-13 rating. More than one such expletive requires an R rating, as must even one of those words used in a sexual context. The rating board nevertheless may rate such a motion picture PG-13 if based on a special vote by a two-thirds majority, blah, 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 blah. In other words, as I say, they are allowed one use of the F-bomb as long as it is not used in a sexual context. Now, I don't want my 13-year-old hearing, or use, excuse me, using the F word. I know they hear it, and eventually they'll probably use it, and they probably use it already. But I do not need the M. PAA, Motion Picture Association of America, allowing my kids to hear this gar garbage. I don't even need my 15-year-old hearing it, although I don't have a 15-year-old, but they don't need to hear it. So there you have it, the confusing PG-13. Next we move on to R. R, restricted. Children under, listen, under 17 require accompanying parent or adult guardian. An R-rated motion picture in the view of the rating board contains some adult material. An R-rated motion picture may include adult themes, adult activity, hard language, intense or persistent violence, sexually oriented nudity, drug abuse, or other elements, so that parents are counseled to take this rating very seriously. Children under 17 are not allowed to attend an R-rated motion pictures unless they are accompanied by a parent or adult guardian. Parents are strongly urged to find out more about R-rated pictures to determine if it is suitable for their children to see. I know when I was 15 or 16, I was slipping into R-rated movies all the time, but they weren't what they are today. So be very careful. I saw an R-rated R movie a few weeks ago, and in my opinion, the movie could have been X which brings us to our next rating, which is the newest one that I didn't really know anything about and didn't really understand until I saw that movie. And that is called an NC-17. I don't see very many NC-17 movies being released, but be careful, NC-17. No one 17 and under admitted. An NC-17 rated motion picture is one that in the view of the rating board, most parents would consider too adult for their children 17 and under. No children will be admitted. NC-17 does not mean obscene or pornographic in the common legal meaning of those words and should not be construed as a negative judgment in any sense. But the bottom line, NC-17 is the mark before X. I thought it was, you know, you know I thought NC-17 meant a step before R, but it actually means R, then NC-17, and the next place you stop is X. So NC-17 movie, if it gets that rating, uh, it's bad. I mean, there's some stuff going on in there that you probably would want to, not would want to see, or not would want to go anywhere with your kids, or anyway. There's doubt, don't. There you have it. That's the rating system today. I hope you understand some of that. It's a little confusing, but not too much. But for me, because I do have kids and I like to do movie time as a family time, then I try to stick to the PG or the PG-13s, but some of the PG-13s even cross the line for me now. And so it's kind of hard, but just really be careful. Watch my reviews and I'll tell you the skinny on these guys because I have no qualms with them. So anyway, there you have it, the rating system. I'll see you next time at movie time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.